you have something that's like four I had, you could describe it as I had that sort as a, a scalar like two phase circuit. Okay. So if I have a vector one, two, I can write it as one times one zero plus two times zero one. Yes. So I vector unit distance from the origin along the x axis one times I vector two times J vector. <coughs> so I vector and J vector are simply the basis vectors for a 2D system. Why? I can take a linear combination, linear combination in the sense. <clears throat> well, what, what does linear mean? It's a line. Huh? It's a line. A line. A linear combination is where you're simply adding, subtracting without raising to powers and such. Because if you raise it to the power, quadratic, power function, etc., part dividing, rational function, so no longer linear. Sign, trigonometry, can't do. So if you just add, subtract, you're linear, you're doing a linear operation, a linear combination, because one of this and two of that, yes, think of baking cookies. So one part sugar, two parts flour, right? So those are the basis for a cookie. Do you agree? Basis vector of a cookie? <coughs> Think of it that, that way. But there are more so. Cookies are actually in at least five dimensions. Yes? What are the five dimensions? Does anyone make? The eggs. Huh? Eggs. 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 So you've got flour, sugar, eggs. No. What's that? Milk. Probably. And your chocolate chips. Come on, don't mess me up here. Well, well okay, six dimensions. So <laughs> basic sugar cook, you need water. Yes? Uh -huh. Minimum five dimensions, unlike your gluten free and all kinds of weird stuff. Why eat a cookie? Um, <laughs> no, we don't. No offense. Um, some. How to get gluten free. Um, so one i vector, one portion of i, two portions of j. So I can take all kinds of linear combination. One minus one will give me another vector in two dimensions. One half, seven over 13, another vector. Um, a simple scalar multiplication, another vector. So the entire two-dimensional space can be generated using those two. Good. We call that the standard basis because that defines the 2D system. We can have other basis factors. Um, a good example. That, that's a line, yes. All these years, you might have simply looked at it as a line, what it puts mx plus b. If you plan to get to linear algebra, now that you can calculus three, that is actually a subspace of the 2D space. Now you may ask me why, can someone tell me why? Because if it were in three dimensions, that would make a plane. True, but you know, only two dimensions. Why would I call this a subspace of this student space? Because it's a 1D representation. It's a 1D representation in what way? You know X, you know what? Do you agree? If that's at some value. You have what you actually don't need um, 
and not the best of information. If this isn't a 2D plane, but this is a subspace of that 2D plane, why? Every point that you would generate will only fall in that space. Do you agree? Yes? X axis by itself is a subspace. Y axis by itself is a subspace. If I asked you, well, what is the standard basis for that? What would you tell me? Clearly it is two dimensional. So it has to have those two elements. Yes. Now, a basis for that. X, Y. X, Y. A basis vector will be of a vector. So you can represent any other point on that line using this one vector. What is that one vector? I'll give you a hint. It has to be non zero. One comma one, yes. Two comma two. Three comma three. Negative five thirds comma negative five thirds. Yes. So there is one vector. Every single one of these can be represented using that one vector as a linear combination. I forgot your name. Hayden, Hayden, yeah. kind of what day close. Go on, Hannah. Mm. Um, oh, I don't know. I thought it does this go up like basis vectors that we're talking yeah. about? Yeah, what is the basis vector for this substance? Is it one I can generate go ahead. Is it one comma one? Or? One comma one. One one would be the basis for that. Yes, uh, Jake. So, do you agree that every single vector that I can come up with for that subspace can be spanned by this linear combination of this? But then that's not a standard basis. What is the standard basis? Well, to be system, that. Is a linear combination of the standard basis. Yes. So, basis vector for that subspace, standard basis for the two dimensional space. See the difference? Yes. Can you also use our foundation? What? The basis for the basis for that. Can you use our foundation? You can, yes. But you end up in a different system, right? We will get that. Um, he's referring to all the coordinates. Now, when we change the coordinate system, you have a different set of faces notation. But do we see, um, or do we understand what the basis vector is? Yes, it generates a space for you. And that is a basis vector, but it's not a standard basis it's for the 2D plane. Yes, for the subspace, it is. But if you want to represent it as a linear combination, that's the linear combination of the standard basis. Good. You can simply take that region on the Cartesian plane. That is a subspace of the Cartesian plane. There are conditions for a valid subspace beyond the scope of this class. You can take the linear algebra. Good. Are we clear? Basis vectors. So the notation i vector, j vector, k vector that we use in this class simply denote the basis vectors for a given dimension. Jake and the class mentioned that what do they use? Hat. In physics, hat notation. Oops, okay, but okay. you like the hat. So J hat 
I don't like the hat because in statistics that would mean an estimator. But then we don't do that either. Um, your book uses a bold notation occasionally to represent a vector. Good. Um, so that is what we mean by basis vectors. Another thing to note typically basic, excuse me, basis vectors are normalized so that their magnitude is what? Well, magnitude simply means the length of the vector normalized to one in the sense you need to have a length of one unit length. <clears throat> well, what is the magnitude of the I vector? From last time, one relative to the origin, it's simply components squared. So one squared plus zero squared. So the magnitude is one, and that is the same as the length of the J vector. So standard basis vectors are <coughs> unit vectors. Okay? No matter what dimension you are looking at. Good. Okay.